What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. My name's Citizen. I like to make regular e-bikes faster and more powerful. And you guys have been asking me for years about this Aventon Adventure 2 bike. How do I de-restrict the bike? How do I get rid of that 20 mile an hour speed limit on the throttle? I want the throttle to go full speed. How do I program that out? You can't, you can't program that out. And then you wanna know, how do I make it stronger on the hills? I want a little bit more power out of it. Can I buy a controller or something to juice up the power on this bike? Again, no, there's nothing out there for it that's plug and play. But I wanna know, is there a way to like de-restrict this bike to get more speed and power out of it? I'm just the guy to figure it out, right? Because over the years of doing this, I've got a ton of spare parts laying around the garage. I've got extra controllers, extra displays, batteries, adapters, wiring harnesses, all that stuff, right? And I went through my parts bin, one of, one of them anyway, went through one of my parts bins today to see what do I have that matches up with this Aventon? Do I have any controllers and motor plugs and things that'll match? And I found some stuff. And I'm gonna show you first what it's like now, the improvements that were made, and then later I'll tell you how I did it, and then stay tuned to the end because I have a question for you. So let's go ride it and let me show you what I created. Okay, we got a bunch of spare parts hooked up here. So here's my spare part display, which is running everything right now. And then I brought out my phone GPS just to verify the speed. Here's my throttle, <laughs> my handheld thumb throttle. That's what I'm gonna use this throttle. And I may only get one run at this. I'll explain it in a minute here, but let's, uh, let's give it some throttle, see what happens. Oh, it works. I don't know how long it's gonna work though. All right, ready for throttle only test. Twenty nine thirty. Woo, buddy! Twenty thirty miles an hour throttle only on the events, and that's a first ever for anyone, I bet. Thirty mile an hour now, thirty throttle only on an adventure. Two. Wow. All right, now what I was talking about there is this system, being that I have a 60 volt controller hooked up on this, it wants a 60 volt battery. I don't have a 60 volt battery to plug into this. So even though this is like a fully charged 52 volt battery, it's at 56.6, this system thinks this battery is almost dead. So if, I, if it drops below like probably 53 or so on the voltage, this bike's probably just going to cut out. But I want to do this just as proof that it would work. So we can now, whoa, got a lot more power, a lot harder pull off the line. Way more power. The watts are saying 1700. I don't know how accurate that is. It was like 1717 on the watts. And we can easily go over 20 throttle only, which I know is a big gripe for a lot of people that the throttle cuts out. But look at this, hang on, way more speed and power now. Yeah, right up to like 30, pretty darn easy. There you go. So I found a way to override it. Now uh, let's head back to the garage and I'm gonna tell you and show you how I did it. All right, folks, let me show you what I did to this adventure bike to produce those results. Now I mentioned before, you know, I've just got a ton of spare parts laying around. I know not everybody's gonna have this, but I, I found the right mixture of plugs and adapters and whatnot to get a functioning separate system on here. So the only thing from the adventure bike I used was the motor. I, I bypassed everything else. So let me show you what I put on here. Start at the back. Battery pack that's powering this right now is this 52 volt 10 amp hour battery pack that I mostly use on my Citizen cycle bike, but it happened to have an XT90 on the end of it. And that's what I needed to plug into that controller. So the controller, this controller is a spare wired e-bike controller. So it's a 60 volt, 40 amp controller powered by the 52 volt battery, which is why we're having the battery issue there on the screen. I had a spare wiring harness that happened to fit the controller. This is a display from my Citizen kit. Here, I'll turn it on. Power, see my logo pop up, Citizen Cycle. So I use my display, one of my thumb throttles from my kit. So we just kind of mix and match. That's all you really need to run this. I mean, you need a battery, a controller. We had the event and motor. We plugged in a display and a throttle. Boom, we're good to go. So none of the other functions work on us. I don't have taillights, brake lights, headlights, turn signals, none of that. 
I just want to see, can I bypass everything just to make this motor go faster and just throttle only past 20? No problem. Right, no problem, because all that stuff is in the controller and the display of the event, and that's how you get rid of it. I bypassed all of it. <laughs> so, uh, as you saw, we were able to go pretty pretty darn quick there. And uh, this is what it would take. If you want to do what I just did, you're gonna have to bypass all the event and stuff, right? Which is where my next question comes in. I can, I can make a controller. I mean, I started making my own parts. I've got hooked up with a manufacturer, you know, I. I've made my Citizen Cycle front motor kit and it's been going great. So I can get controllers made that would work on this. I just don't know how many people would want them. Comment below if you think you would want one. And the way I would do it, you know, this is not set up correctly at all. This is just kind of a proof of concept here. But what I would build would be a controller that matches the battery system of the Aventon. So you could plug the controller right into the Aventon battery pack here. You know, a 40, so it would be a 48 volt controller, probably 35 amps. I can't go too big because this battery pack is puny. It's a 48 volt, like 15 amp hour battery pack. I mean, if I give it a 45 amp controller, I will overwhelm it probably. I don't know what the battery management system is in there. I don't know how many amps it can handle as a draw. Uh, it's also a small battery. So you're, you're gonna suck the juice out of it real quick with a big controller. So. If I were to make a controller, I would make it with, you know, 48 volt system, probably 35 amp, so you don't overwhelm that battery pack. The correct motor plug to just plug right into the event and motor. I would probably try to get the right tail light plugs on there so you wouldn't lose your tail lights and brake lights. Same with the headlight. I don't know if I could get working turn signals on the thing, because you're gonna be losing this little pad right here that controls your event and so. You'd probably lose turn signals. I don't know how that really matters. And you'd also lose your Bluetooth capability on the bike, which I don't know if anybody uses that either, but it would get you a lot more power and it would get you a lot more throttle only speed by doing that. So there's my question. Uh, I can get it done. I can, I'll figure it out. I'll make it if you guys want one. So let me know in the comments if, if I made a controller upgrade for a Venton to do basically this, but do it appropriately and cleaner. This is a mess right now because I'm just, I, I literally hooked this up in 10 minutes. But let me know if you would want one. Comment below and then uh, if there's a big outcry for it, I'll, uh, I'll get it made. I'll put it on the website. That's kind of what I want to do. I want to create aftermarket parts that people want. So this is a great bike, but I think it could be a little bit better. I think we can make it better. So let me know. Oh, and I forgot one other thing I'd have to contend with as well would be the torque sensor. I don't know how easy or hard that would be to get a controller working with the torque sensor that comes on this bike. So, couple problems to be figured out, right? I, what happens with the torque sensor? Would you lose that? I uh, hope not. And then turn signals. Other than that, it's all the plugs are pretty easy to work with. So there you go. Hope you found it interesting, informative, entertaining. If you did, consider hitting subscribe and let me know what you think. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks.